You guys know Reagan, right? My daughter's name is Reagan. She has six national titles. She even beat Kalani in the past. In second place, we have entry number 26, Savage. And in first place, entry number 39, Broken. Congratulations, Stevie. My daughter's here because she is a force to be reckoned with. Do you mind if I sit down, oh, you guys? Oh, I'm sorry, you're so rude. Please have a seat. OK, thanks. So basically, you guys are all witches. And um, we're going to have the cauldron right there. And there's going to be dry ice coming out of it. And you guys are casting a spell to make you guys win and have great technique, OK? What are you expecting this week? Do you expect a solo? I mean, of course, I would want my daughter to have the opportunity to have a solo. She doesn't need a solo. We came here with some severe ramifications from leaving our studio. At this point, we've been removed from all of our competition teams permanently. Wow. And I definitely want a national platform for my child to be recognized. I want her career to grow. I, of course, would want her to get out there on stage and have a chance to have a solo, to seize this, like, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But. I really didn't mean disrespect, and well, I apologize. Well, you don't need to disrespect, because your daughter walked in here 32 milliseconds later, and she's front and center. So okay. all your dreams are coming true. Got a feeling that might happen. So I'm going to call your names, and if you guys can step up, that would be great. Um, Kalani, so you are doing a solo, and it's going to be called Out for Blood, contemporary. Cameron, if you can step up. You're also doing a solo, contemporary. It's called Breaking Free. The next solo I'm giving Reagan. It's a lyrical piece and it's called The Ingenue. Thank you. Okay. The reason why I chose Reagan to do a solo is because her technique is on point. And all I care about, you guys, this week is winning. But you're bringing Reagan in as a guest this week and you're going to give her a solo over Chloe and Nia? Her technique is better. Seriously. Seriously. It is. Did you not just see Reagan dance? I'm always in the back. Like, I know it. I know that. Like, I've told time after time my technique is, like, the worst in the group. Don't, like, I know that. But it's just hard because, like, I've been here for legit seven years. Like, I've never missed a competition. I've felt like I've put in so much. And honestly, but I But you like... got to do it last week. Kalani didn't. Well, yeah, but that didn't win. So we're trying new things. We want to win. We were so upset we're dancing back up, and we were the ones that put in our lips, sweat, and tears for this. But you guys, my daughter just left her home studio that she's danced that at since so she's been five. That was your you choice. That's, That's how much we care about dancing with you guys. She wants you guys to post a picture on social media so she can have more followers. You guys lie and twist everything to what you want to say. Stop. Seriously, not in front of your daughters. It's ridiculous. This is so childish. I've taken time out of my life to be here for your girls, and I've grown to love them so much. I really have. But I know what it takes to win, and if, if that means tough love, that's what it means. I need you guys to please leave my room so I can work with your girls. It's just annoying to me. They lived a lifetime of that, of being background dancers to everyone else. I just feel like you guys are trying to punish my kid. She stepped in on this team. It's not about your child specifically. You sat here and cried boo-hoo that you left your team and you did this and you made these I'm sacrifices. I'm not crying anything. My kid just got attacked in there by older girls who 